but you also have support from buyers. By, by way of Senvest in the nines, Ryan Cohen in the eights, like the market, technical analysts maybe don't, but like the market will remember that type of stuff. So you have quite a bit of support. That was why I was saying last week, and that's not a recommendation, right? This channel's educational in nature, but that was why I was saying last week and even earlier this week, when that price is at that $10 range, generally speaking, right? Don't even just think about GameStop. Think about this being any stock. Think about this being any stock with these with a chart that looks like this. You would be potentially adding to the position when you pull back down to this lower side of the box, when you pull back to those trend lines, when it maybe falls below, falls back to that 50 RSI. Um, maybe in theory, you sell some puts. You know what I mean? Those are the times to do that type of the stuff because not always, these are all probabilities, but there's you have a little bit more support. That downside risk is a little bit more um, stronger than when we were trading at 15. I uh, I like, that's like objective analysis. You can, you can disagree on the styles that you may implement. Like if you're a day trader, you're going to view this differently than I do. But um, that's how that, that's, that's what Barry does. You know what I mean? You're, you're opportunistically adding to a position, trimming a position. This is how I feel technical analysis can help because in the value front, it's really hard on, sh on sheer value. It was, it was really tough for me to do that. And I feel as though the charts help a bit. I, uh, and I'm always, I'm still testing them. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, let's see if this actually works. You know what I mean? And, but if, if it works out from here, if, if like, like 1050 is the low, this is another, another proof that it has kind of worked out again. And also something to bear in mind, as many folks here know, the chart gets even, like, I, I think I already said this, the strong, the chart gets even more bullish, not just as, as, as time passes, as you remain in double digits, as you remain at this elevated range, because now the price, the market is like accepting this is the new level. But also you retesting, you pull back to these support levels, and then when you bounce, then you, if you're at 15 again and you're at 16 again, it's more meaningful to market participants looking at the charts. It's I, I feel like I spent a lot of time talking about the charts when my real thesis is the fundamentals. But what the, I guess there's not much else to talk about, right? Oh, you see that the TikTok thing I posted is like I'm running a lot of stuff to talk about. But this is the type of marginal analysis I do at this time, especially if. If, if uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm going on a rant now. I, I just have, uh, as time passes, I have more more uh, rounded out thinking when it comes to the charts. So I, I like to share them too, because call me out. If you disagree or if I'm viewing something differently, This I don't even know if this is, it's becoming more a hill that I might be willing to die on, but not yet. It's all, it always comes down to the fundamentals for me. But when people disagree, like Rod just, Rod wasn't disagreeing. Rod just said, hey, the 21 EMA. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me check that out. I like, I don't usually use stuff like that, but maybe I'll test it out later. That five-week weekly moving average, too, that little kind of interesting.